You know, I've, I've been wanting to do another podcast episode since the last one, and I wanted to make it a little bit more fun, you know, lighthearted, talk about the wonders of the universe or, or some shit, I don't know. But uh, there's been a development in the George Floyd case, I guess. Body cam footage was leaked. The show, apparently, what some people say is justifiable for his death. And I, I haven't seen the video. So we'll see. I saw I saw people tweeting about it, but I didn't watch the video yet because I was saving it to watch it on here. Okay, now all right, now let's actually watch this. Now let's actually watch this video. I see your hands. Stay in the car. Let me see your other hand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me see your other hand. Please, because both hands. Okay, so he's he's yelling I don't know there. And so that can only be assumed by like the cuz remember this started out because of the fake 20, the fake $20 bill. So this is what could have happened. Either cuz I'm pretty sure the person who called the cops was the store person themselves uh because of the fake 20. So the guy probably noticed it was a fake 20, told told George to leave or something. Then he called the cops. Then they came, and I guess George may have still been around. And then, and then, so then, since he, you know, he was just told to leave because of the fake 20 from the store guy, and then the cops just happened to pull up on him. Maybe he put two and two together, and he was just like, I didn't know. Because like, people get fake 20s all the time, you know. I, I it. The place where I work, you know, it happens. It's rare, but it, it does happen. People have fake 20s, but we got the marker and all that. And, you know, you just have to, you know, you can't give it back. You have to take it. Um, um, just, and I guess just toss it or whatever. I don't know how, but yeah. But calling the cops, that was completely unnecessary for this whole situation. Like, it's a fake $20 bill. I, and he, bro he's like literally in distress right here like he's just like he's he's just like cuz he, everybody knows bro like when a cop pulls up on you especially when they draw out a gun like that like that fast like yeah he's going to be scared and also there's reports of like him being high and i don't even know if that's true but who gives a fuck if he was like who cares? Uh, people can make their own decisions. And I have a very, you know, I, I guess, radical viewpoint on on drugs. Like, I don't want to get too into it because it's this whole video on its own thing. But we are in a podcast, so it's pretty long. Um, I personally believe that all drugs should be made legal. And before you click away or comment, you know, some crazy shit, hear my case. So... It's very obvious 
the war on drugs is not working. This whole shaming and imprisoning and punishing addicts and people that use drugs, it's not working. It's clearly not working. Drug use is probably like higher than it's ever been. You know, it doesn't matter how many people you throw in jail. And it all started because of, over fucking racist. I mean, racism, the topic that keeps on persisting. Yes, yeah, like, anyways, anyways. And if you, if we change the system instead of punishing addicts and people that needed help, and instead actually offered help and do what prison's supposed to be, re- rehabilitate these people, then that's how you solve your your drug problem. But you got to ask yourself, why do so many, why are there so many people why is, why is this such a, a problem in America? Why is drugs such a big problem in America? Like the opiate, opiate ep- epidemic and all that. Why do people want to get high? There's something about human nature that makes us want to get high. It's just a, a thing. Humans have been getting high for millions of years. Animals get high. There's countless of animals that get high. And I don't understand why people are using the fact that he may have been high as... A, as a reasonable cause for the, for him to die, like that shit makes no sense. You do well, well, okay. So like, you guys drink. I guarantee you guys probably drink alcohol, and don't think anything because it's legal, right? It's still a drug, and it's probably the worst drug that we could have made legal and have socially acceptable, like. People use it irresponsibly. And yeah, I know I just said legalize all drugs. But that also has to go hand in hand with education and, and teaching people the actual causes of these drugs and the, and the harms that they can inflict and everything, right? Because if you educate people about what these drugs can do, not just tell them, no, don't do them, that's not going to work. That's clearly not working. You have to tell them, this is what this drug does. And... When you're old enough, if you make the decision that you want to experiment or try this drug, then that's completely up to you. And if we get to a point where it's legal, then you can get a doctor prescription. You don't have to worry about your drugs being laced. And with legal injection sites, you can go to there and inject or do your drugs in a safe space instead of just out in the street somewhere. And in countries where they do that, it shows that drug use actually goes down because these people, instead of being, you know, because instead of being punished, they, they actually want to seek help. And because there's a lot of pe- uh, drug addicts that I know we've gotten so off track now from George Floyd, but there's a lot of drug addicts that, that, uh, they don't want to keep being drug addicts, but they're addicted. You guys got to understand this isn't something, Oh, I'm done. Like you can, but you have to, it, some people just really just, they're just not, I don't want to say strong enough, but they're just not strong enough to like beat that addiction because it, you go through withdrawal and that I can't even imagine what that must feel like. But I, I only I only can imagine that it's like the worst fucking thing that you could ever feel. And and um, if we got if we if we if we if we got rid of this whole punishing system and all that. And I know there's been a lot of people talking about abolishing the police. And uh, I don't think the police should be completely gone because the police are obviously needed in a society because humans are just way too evil and greedy. We should at least defund the police, like demilitarize the police, like give them... Don't, we don't, they don't need rocket launchers and tanks and shit. Meanwhile, schools and teachers are underpaid. And yeah, that may be a surprise to some coming from me, um, but I honestly think that teachers are way underpaid. They're sh- they're educating the future minds of America. And sure, there are some teachers that do not deserve <laughs> a fucking a fucking um, raise. But at the at the end of the day, they still are a fucking teacher. And you know, maybe they maybe people would take teaching a little bit more seriously. Instead of just like a like a job, and actually 
remember that it's not a business they're running, it's a school. But anyways, let's get back onto this George Floyd video. Uh, long story short, if you think that he, it's okay that he died because he was high, you're probably not only a hypocrite because you probably do other drugs, such as alcohol. Um, but you're just fucking a low human, no empathy at all. But, um... Let's keep going now. Hey, you come back. Stay in the car. Stop resisting that. Yes, you are. Stay in Against the wall. Yes. We're not doing We're figuring out what's going on. Drop the bag. Figuring out what's going on. Adam, he's with you. What's the problem? We were getting a ride. I just got my phone fixed. It's my accident. Adam, don't be. It's my accident. Are you good? They keep coming. Let's see, man. You can ask for the idea. I'm going to take the charge. You can ask Mr. Adam about me. You have ID? I'm on 38 years old. Hey. Okay, so I just and I just came over to get my phone see I'll have a purse or nothing. And my daughter is on her way to get me. What's the deal? I don't know. Adam knows me, sir. That's it's my age. I don't know. Why is he getting all squirrely and not showing his hands no and just being all weird like that? Because he's been we've shot been before. Well, I get that, but still, when I'm going to say get out of the car, is he drunk? Is he on something? No, he got a thing going on. Just telling you what about the car. What does that mean? Yeah. 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 He had problems. Oh, all the time. Yeah. Yeah. He had problems. Yeah. 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 Real quick on your I'm listening. And I understand that, 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 that people do stuff 
Say who's gonna die? Look at that! Look at that! Look at it! Look at it! We can fix it, but not while you're standing up. Okay, man. God, y'all do me bad, man. Man, I don't, I don't want to try to win. I don't want to try to win. I don't want to win. I'm just a bobby. I'm just a bobby. I got anxiety. I don't want to do nothing to them. I'll roll the window down. Man, I'm scared. Hey, when I start breathing, when I start breathing, it's gonna go off on me, man. Okay, okay, okay. Let me count to three. Let me count to three. I'm going in. I can't even follow what's going on right now. Like, I'm pretty sure he's on the ground, like outside the squad car. I'm pretty sure this is when it's, yeah, when this is when it started happening. Yeah, pretty sure that's where the video is. Okay, one. I will say yes, he was uh, resisting, like trying not to get into the car. All right, and sure that that is annoying and all that. But he wasn't trying to inflict harm on anyone. He just, you know, didn't want to go into the car. And I'm pretty sure cops deal with that all the fucking time. And again, still not an excusable reason to kill him, even if he was resisting. He was already in cuffs. And you already seen the video. It was like it was three cops on him for like nine minutes. If he does actually have anxiety and all that, that might explain what was going on. But I find it surprising that whenever a white kid shoots up a school, it's always a mental health thing. But this clearly isn't. Like, dude, when I look at this, if he was on drugs, I then I, I it's a mental health thing. Like, I don't I don't understand why people aren't saying that more with with this George Floyd case. Like, because he's not fucking white and he didn't shoot up a school. Like, this is this is why people say defund the police. Like, there shouldn't... Police... Okay, sure. If there wasn't... Who knows? Okay. There should be people that actually know how to deal with people with mental health problems, depending on what it is, like, whatever. Like, And a lot of cops don't have that type of training. There's been numerous cases of people with various types of, you know mental um i guess mental health issues or some even like with mental hand handicaps that police have killed or you know just like, i don't know like it's, it's it's it goes deep but i still don't see any reason why he it was okay for him to die so people that really just started saying Oh, well, look, 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 look at this video. Look at this video. He should have died. This, this clearly, this clearly says that his, his life, a human person, a, a human life had a reasonable reason to be taken away. 
What the fuck? Bro. A spider was just on my neck, bro. What the actual fuck? What the fuck, bro? Where the fuck did that shit come from? That's disgusting. I'm, I hate spiders. Is that an ant? I think it's an ant. I don't even... Alright, anyways, where was I? Yeah, no, I, I, I don't... I still honestly do not see any reason he should be dead. Uh, people are saying like, oh, wow, George Floyd wasn't a saint. No one was saying he was a saint. No one was saying this dude was the perfect person ever. It, it, like, like I said before, it, these protests were, were, are much bigger than just George Floyd. It's a police brutality thing. George Floyd was just the spark, the, 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 the straw that broke the camel's back. It was the one that pushed, like the, the, la the last straw. Like it was just, the, George Floyd was, the, the last, the last straw, and, so people saying like, oh look at look all these protests, all this violence, all this all this stuff is 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 pointless because he wasn't a good person. What? Like, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure like a human life still matters right and he wasn't a i don't know but it from these videos it doesn't look like he was a fucking terrible shady person he wasn't trying to hurt anybody he just didn't want to get in a fucking car and people yeah oh well, you know you shouldn't resist arrest when it's cops but like does that mean you should die for it like, that doesn't make any fucking sense. If you think it makes sense, that's... Please don't become a cop. I don't... I don't... I still don't think there was any actual justifiable reason that he should... He should have... He should be dead right now. Like, you can't tell me he, he should be dead because he was high. You can't tell me he should be dead because he d didn't want to get into the police car what and people are saying that that his drug use was it but like come on if he was on drugs are you telling me the nine minutes with three people on him didn't do shit like you telling me if you telling me he would have died later that same day if the cops never arrived because if he was on drugs then and if that was the cause of his death then those same drugs would have killed him later that day. So, anyways, that's the video. That's that's the story. This new footage was released, but why ha why didn't that come out earlier? Why is that just now coming out? And how the who leaked it? You know who was the guy or the woman that leaked it? But people are really saying that it's okay. He's dead. Or that he died, or that these protests didn't matter because about George Floyd. Sure, we weren't shown the whole thing and all that. And are you honestly surprised the media, you know, but hold up. Even if, okay, who's, people are saying that the media lied about George Floyd and they didn't show the whole truth and all that. But where did this footage come from? Because, like, the Daily Mail said that they, they're not releasing how they got the footage. And, um, or CNN said the D Daily Mail was in, yeah. Anyways, um, if the media didn't have that footage or they didn't even know about or had access to that footage until literally today or whatever, then how would, how would they know too? Like what if they were just making do with the footage they had? Like everybody had the same footage. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Cause the judge said that he wasn't releasing the the footage of the public, according to CNN. But that's just partial footage, by the way. So we need the whole, I guess we should, the whole footage should be released and then we'll, we'll see. And with this leak, maybe it'll come out now. Okay, this guy couldn't have said it better. He was on drugs and died with weed, meth, and fentanyl in his system. I don't know about that. That's a lot of shit. Um, and he still didn't deserve to die with that officer's knee on his neck. Everyone came to that conclusion the first time around.
perfect. Like, who cares what he does on his free time? If it was any other day, he wouldn't have been hurting anybody. He would have been on his fucking way, probably having the fucking best time ever, right? And then these cops came and fucking killed him. If you're not hurting no one, who gives a shit what you do? That's why I don't get the drug thing. I don't get why people hate gay people or any other group, really. Like any like racism shit. Like sh- literally, there's so much shit that does not make sense. But it's literally because people are too stupid to know it doesn't make sense. Anyways, that's the story. Let me know if if you're a decent human being or if you're a dickhead and should you know just perish because if you really think that he died he should di- he should have died for any reason that you're just fucking evil as evil as those cops never become a cop all right on to the next thing so it was another trending topic today Trump did an interview with Axios, and holy shit, it is fucking terrible. It is cringeworthy, to say the least, and uh, we're going to watch it together. The criticism of you that, that is most prominent is about the communication. It's the public health experts saying that it needs to be based in reality, and they're saying that the wishful thinking and the salesmanship is just not suitable in a time when a pandemic has killed 145,000 Americans. And it's, it's that I understand what you're saying, that people need to hear positive thinking. But, you know, for the past five months, it's been the virus is totally under control and the cases have been going up and the deaths it have been going up. Look, look. But you've been saying it's no, under control. Right to it. What this thing was all about. This has never happened before. 1917, but it was a totally yeah. different it was a flu in that yeah. case, okay? But other than 1917, there's never been anything like this. And by the way, if you watch the fake news on television, they don't even talk about it. But you know, there are 188 other countries right now that are suffering, some proportionately far greater than we are, okay? As bad as we Very are. Very few. What? Some proportionately greater than we are. <laughs> he right now, repeated right himself. Now, <laughs> Spain is having a big spike. There are tremendous problems in the world. You look at Moscow, look at what's going on with Moscow, look at Brazil, look at these countries, what's going on. This was sent to us by China, one way or the other, and we're never going to forget it. Believe me, we're never going to forget it. And we were beating China at every single point. We were beating them on trade. We were, beat- we were making progress like nobody's ever made progress. They had, before the pandemic, they had the worst year Jonathan, that they've had in 67 years. You know that, with the tariffs and everything else I did. We were taking in billions of dollars. I was giving some of it to the farmers. The farmers were doing well because I was targeting, they were targeting the farmers, I was targeting China. We were doing good. Then all of a sudden, the game changed, and I had to close it down. I closed down the greatest economy ever in history. Is he saying that China created the virus to hurt America? That's very well, wait, strong and then accusatory terms. It down, and now we're opening it. And we say, by the way, by closing it down, we saved millions of lives. If we would have gone to herd, and we knew very little about the disease, if we would have gone herd, we would have lost millions of people. Well, millions of people. One person's too much. We're at 140,000 people. One person is too much. We're at 140. We would have lost millions of people. And those people that really understand it, they they really understand it, they said it's incredible the job that we've done. And again, I bring it up. Who says that? The ban, (laughs) banning China from coming in. But it was already already in here by the time, it was already here. Like, by the time you banned China, it, it came in through you. Nobody knew the extent. Nobody knew how contagious I'm not, it I'm not, was. But the question you know, is, Mr. President, maybe China knew. by June, we knew things were bad. And, you know, the last time I was with you was the, the day before your Tulsa rally in the Oval. And, you know, you were saying, big, huge crowd, it was indoors. By the way, these people, they listened to you. Big, excuse me, Jeff. Yeah. We had a 19,000 seat stadium. First of all, we had 12,000 people, not 6,000, which you reported and other people reported. But you couldn't even get in. It was like an armed camp. Why would you have wanted that? 120 Black Lives Matter people. I understand, but why would you have wanted a huge crowd? Excuse me, wait. 
And Tulsa, well, because that area was a very good area at the time. It was a, an area that was pretty much stuff. over after, after, a month later, a it started before. going up. That's a month later. That but Tulsa was a very good, Oklahoma was doing very well as a state. It was almost free. It spiked a month later, a month and a half, two months later, but it was a good area. We had a tremendous crowd. We had tremendous response. You couldn't even, it was like an armed camp. You couldn't even get through. You couldn't get anybody in. But I'm, I'm we had 12,000 people. It was incorrectly reported. The other thing we had that nobody wants to talk about, so Fox broadcast it. It was the highest rating in the history of Fox television Saturday night. It was the highest rating. Mr. President. My speech, well, wait a minute. You're, you're saying something. Yeah. That speech <laughs> was the speech in the history of Fox television you're saying on Saturday something. night. What does that mean? And Nobody says I think, that. I think you misunderstand me. I'm criticizing your ability to draw a crowd. Are well, you kidding me? I'm I've covered you for five years. You draw massive I'm crowds. You get this. huge ratings. I'm asking about the public the time, health. And I canceled another one. I had to cancel it. Right. I have a great crowd in New Hampshire, and I canceled it for the same reason. But here's the question. It, you know, I've covered you for a long time. I, I've you gone can, to your rallies. I've talked to you. That sh obviously shows his ego just coming out. Like, I don't... Like, he just cares about people thinking that he, he can drag in fans. Your people, they love you. They listen to you. They listen to every word you say. They hang on your every word. They don't listen to me or the media or Fauci. They think we're fake news. They want to get their advice from you. And so when they hear you say everything's under control, don't worry about wearing masks, I mean, these are people, many of them are older people, well, Mr. President. What's your of control? Yeah. Under the it's giving them a false sense right of security. Now, I think it's under control. I'll tell you what. How? A thousand Americans are dying a day. They are dying. That's true. And you ha it is what it is. But that doesn't It is what it is! It is what it is! He said that shit. It is what it is. Oh, it's my under control fucking as God. much as you can control it. This is a horrible plague that beset us. You really think this is as much as we can control? Uh, well, a thousand I'll deaths you, a day? I'd like to know if somebody, first of all, we have done a great job. We've gotten the governors everything they needed. They didn't do their job. Many of them didn't, and some of them did. Someday we'll sit down, we'll talk about the successful ones, the good ones. Look at that smile. The good ones and the bad. We had good and bad. And we had a lot in the middle. But we had some incredible governors. I could tell you right now who the great ones are and who the not-so-great ones are. But the governors do it. We gave them massive amounts of material. Mr. President, you changed your message this week in terms of you cancelled the Jacksonville Convention, you said wear a mask, you're saying, you know, that it's going to get worse before it gets better. It's not something you like to say. I know you said that. The By big the way, question... Not get worse like the original flow. You understand that. But well, I hope not. Worse. It's a thousand. Now, if you look, uh, yeah. Arizona is going down. If I could just finish my question. Texas is going down and Florida is going down. The question yeah. is, are you going to... Even some of your own aides wonder whether you would stick to that message until election day, whether in a week or two you won't say, right, we've got to reopen again, we, got, we can't do this stuff anymore, that you'll get bored of talking about the virus and go back to that no, sort of I'm cheerleading. No, I never get bored of talking about this. It's too big a thing. And again, so will it you stick to that message? By China. It should have been stopped by China, and it wasn't. But now it's here. We have you're it the here. And I think I'm You're very consistent. No, this is a very serious thing. Do you think I, we have 140,000 people at this moment? More this is a that. very, very yeah. serious situation. And what you have to do is handle it the best it can be handled. And again, I'm working with the governors. I got them tremendous right. amounts of equipment that they would have never gotten. Jonathan, they wouldn't have equipment now if I didn't get it. When can you commit, by what date, that every American will have access to the same day testing that you get here in the White House? Well, we have great testing. We're, we're doing, and, and By what other date? people do. Let me explain the testing. We have tested more people than oh any other God. country, than this all of Europe put together record, times bro. two. We have to... tested more people than anybody ever thought of. India has 1.4 billion people. They've done 11 million tests. We've done 55, it'll be close to 60 million tests. And, you know, there are those that say, you can test too much. You do know that. Who says that? Oh, <laughs> who the read the manuals, read the books. Manuals? Read the what books. Manuals? 
Read the books. What books? What testing does? Who, no, I'm is sorry. Just, what books? Let me, Yo, let me this is so infuriating to watch, bro. The way he talks is so annoying. Like, the way he interrupts because, like, he knows that if he lets them speak, if he can just keep talking, he can convey whatever message he wants and just put the narrative to however he likes because he can just use his words or whatever. And the he's just spouting the same shit. You know, we tested some, we, we've done the most amount of testing, the most amount of testing of everybody. We've done it. We've, we've done it. And that makes the cases go up. You know, more tests, more cases, more cases, you know, you know, that's not the fucking question he asked. It shows cases. It shows where there may be cases. Other countries test, you know, when they test, they test when somebody's sick. That's when they test. And I'm not saying they're right or wrong. Nobody's done it like we've done it. We've gotten absolutely no credit for it. But we've come up with so many different tests. The only thing that we have now is some people have to wait longer than we'd like them to. We it's want a big a, problem. We want point to point. We want to have a five minute to a 15 minute right. test. When we do you have, think? And like many others. Every from American. What I understand we're close to 50% where it's point to point test. We are making thousands of instruments, thousands of tests right now, tens of thousands that can be distributed to various parts of the country. But you have to understand, and we've even sent some of them to other countries where they had a big problem. Jonathan, almost 50 percent, in fact, I think the number might be over, is immediate testing. The other's tough. You take a test, you have to send it to a laboratory, Let's say that takes a day. Let's right. say it's a day. It's difficult. Like, you know, so it's three or four or five days. There's nothing you do about that. But when do you think we will have it for I everyone? think that you what will day? have that relatively soon. I mean, again, what does that mean? you already have half. Yeah. Uh, I would much rather get back to you because I don't okay. want to have you That's right fine. in one month. That's I fine. didn't make it. I missed it by yeah, a day. I it's it. a headline. Mr. President, I want to talk about the, the federal intervention. In Excuse me. Yeah. One thing I would say about yeah. testing. Because we test so much, we show cases. Oh so my God, the same shit cases. again. We show tremendous number of, I know you're smiling when I say no, that. No, but, but come on, I mean, I've I heard you say this. Other but countries <laughs> don't test like we do, do so know, they don't show cases. Just a couple of points on that. <laughs> I wasn't going to continue on the testing, but you said it. So we're testing so much because it's spread so far in America. We're testing and when so much because we had the ability to test. Okay. Because we but, came up with tests. But South Korea. Jonathan, we weren't even... We didn't even have a test. When I took over, we didn't even have a test. Now, in all why, fairness, why would you there have a was test? no test. There was no test. test. How would you have a test? God. Okay. There was no test for this. No, we didn't have a test because there was no of test. Course. In, in a very short order, we got what one test, fuck? we got another test. It was broken another. the first Many one. of those tests are now obsolete because we've, right. you know, it's called science and all of a sudden right. something's better. But because we tested so many people, 55, 60 million people very soon, we get cases. You test, some kid has even just a little runny nose, it's a case. And then you report many cases. So we look like we have more cases than massive countries like yeah. China, which by the way doesn't report, as you know. Well, I, like, I, I don't put any stock in China's no, no, figures. The point is, yeah. the point is, because we are so much better at testing than any other country in the world, we show more cases. I, the, the figure I look at is death, and death is going up now. Okay, no, and it's no. a thousand a day. If you look at death, yeah, it's going up look, again. Let's look. Yeah, 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 I saw this clip. I saw this clip. This shit is so fucking look. funny. Oh and my god. If you god. look at death, yeah, it started to go up Here's again. One. Well, right here, the United States is lowest in numerous categories. Uh, we're lower than the world. Lower than We're the lower world. than what is that? Europe. In what? Look. In what? Lower than the world. Right here. Here's case death. Oh, you're doing death as a proportion of cases. I'm talking about death as a proportion of population. That's where the U.S. is really uh, bad. Well, well, Much worse than South Korea, Germany, etc. You can't. You can't do that. You have why to go. Can't I do that? You have to go by. You have to. Because it doesn't agree with it. Look, That's why you can't do that. Here is the United States. You have to go by the cases. The cases. Why are not death. as a proportion when of population? When we have somebody. What it says is when you have somebody that... Yeah. Bro, I feel like... I don't... Okay, I feel like Trump's not smart enough to do all this shit. I feel like his team is just making the data be more favorable to him since they know that he probably can't properly read graphs and shit. And all he wants to see is, okay, more bad, less good, or, you know, like, yeah. All right, let's keep going.
has it, where there's a case. Oh, okay. The people that live sure. from oh. those cases. It's surely a relevant statistic to say if the U.S. has X population and X percentage of death of that population no, versus South you have Korea. No, because go by the cases. Well, look at South if, Korea, for example. 51 million population, 300 deaths. It's like it's you, crazy you compared to know that. I do. It's you on. Don't the, know it's that. Do, you think they're faking their statistics? Uh, South Korea, I, I an advanced won't get into country, that because they have a very good relationship yeah. with the country. That's what you, you literally just said, bro. Have, <laughs> look, here's Germany, one, low here's nine thousand. Here's one right here. United States. You take anyway. the number of cases. Okay. Now look, we're last. Meaning we're first. Last. I don't know we what we're first in. As a well, take a look okay. again. It's cases. Just, okay. Um, and we have cases. Because I mean, of the testing. Wait, a thousand Americans are dying a day, but I understand. I understand on cases, it's different. No, but you're not reporting it correctly, Jonathan. I think I am, but... If you take a look at this other chart, okay. look, this is our testing, I believe. This is the testing, yeah. Yeah, we do more tests. No, wait a minute. Well, don't we get credit for that? And because we do more tests, we have more cases. In other words, we test more, we have... But, now, take a look. The top one, that's a good thing, not a bad thing. The, the top, Jonathan. If, 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 if hospital rates were going down and deaths were going down, I'd say terrific. You deserve to be praised for well, testing, they but even, they're all going you know, up. They very rarely 60,000 Americans are in hospital. If you watch the news or dying or read the papers, they usually talk about new cases, new cases, new cases. I'm talking about death. Well, you look it's at death. Up. Death is way down from where it was. It's, it's a thousand death. a day. It was two and a half thousand. It went down to 500. Now it's going up death. again. Excuse me. Where it was is much higher than where it is right now. It went down and it's it went up like, again. But now it's going down again. It's, it's going, going down in Arizona. It's going down in Florida. Nationally it's going, going down in Texas. Take a look at this. These are the tests. It's going down in Florida? Yeah, it's going. It leveled out and it's going down. That's my report as of yesterday. Anyway, Mr. President, if I could change subject. It is going down in Arizona. It Arizona, is it is. Texas, Arizona, it is. Texas has big spiked, problems. And it is. It, it spiked, and it's now going down in Florida. It's evened out and going down in Florida. I have to see those. Figures. But but you have to look at this. This is the number of tests compared I to the rest of the world. I don't deny your figures. You've done more tests by far than the rest right. of the world. I don't and deny because that. Because we've done more tests, we have more cases. You yeah, have you can take more infections. Check it, check it out. Mr. Your President, um, different subject. It's been widely reported that the U.S. has intelligence indicating that Russia paid bounties or offered to pay bounties to Taliban fighters to kill American right. soldiers. Mm -hmm. You had a phone Caught call with, with that, Vladimir probably. Putin on July 23rd. Did you bring up this issue? No, that was a phone call to discuss other things. And frankly, uh, that's an issue that uh, many people said was uh, fake news. Who said that it was, was fake news? I think a lot of people, uh, if you look at some of the wonderful folks from the Bush administration, uh, some of them, not any friends of mine, were saying that it's a fake issue. But a lot of people said it's a fake issue. There was dispute well, we within call, the intelligence. We had a call talking about nuclear proliferation, which right. is a very big subject, where they would like to do something, and so would I. We discussed numerous things. We did not discuss that, no. And you've never discussed it with him? I have never discussed it with him, no. Reg I would. I'd have no why, problem though? with it. But you don't believe but, the hold intelligence. Hold it's because you don't believe the intelligence. That's why. Uh, everything, you know, it's interesting. Nobody ever brings up China. They always bring Russia, Russia, Russia. If we can do something with Russia in terms of nuclear proliferation, which is right. a very big problem, bigger problem than global warming, right. a much bigger problem than global warming in terms of the real world, uh, that would be a great thing. But no, just... uh, it never reached my okay. desk. You know why? Because they didn't think it was intelligence. They didn't think it was real. It was they in your written think, brief, though, apparently. They didn't think it was worthy of it. I wouldn't mind. If it reached my desk, I would have done something about it. It never reached my desk because... Do you read your written brief? I do. do I you? read a lot. Really? You know, I read a lot. They like to say I don't read. I read a lot. Uh, your, I, your daily intelligence brief? I comprehend extraordinarily well, uh, probably better than anybody that you've interviewed in a long time. Uh, I read a lot. I spend a lot of time with... Uh, at meetings, uh, usually it's once a day or uh, at least two or three times a week intelligence. Because this was apparently talking in about India, brain. talking about right. with the problems with China, talking about so many different elements of the world. Mm -hmm. The world is a very uh, angry place. If you look all over the world, we call up, I get, uh, I see 22 soldiers were killed in India with China fighting over the border. It's been raging for many, many decades. And they've been fighting and back and forth. I, I have so many briefings on so many different countries, but this one didn't reach my desk. The reason I say this is, is even if you don't believe the, this particular piece of intelligence, and there is dispute, no doubt, there is dispute in the intelligence community about it, your former, uh, John Nicholson, former head of forces in Afghanistan, said, and this is when he was working for you, that Russia is supplying weapons to the Taliban. 
Isn't that enough to challenge Putin over the killings of well, US we soldiers? Well, we supplied weapons when they were fighting Russia too. You know, when we were when they were fighting with the Taliban. What the yeah, fuck? Yo, he's era. Well, it's a bro. He's literally just admitting to the whole fucking bro. The U.S. conspiracy theory confirmed right here, I guess, because like. He's talking about the U.S. funding terrorist organizations to take down people we don't like, and then, and then probably you know, putting leaders that we do like in their place. And I'm just saying, yes, I fucking hate mean, the military. I'm just saying we did that. Military-industrial complex is a bitch. But how does that? I don't know. I didn't ask Nicholson about that. He was there for a long time. Didn't have great success because you know he was there before me and then ultimately I made a change. But you surely heard that, right? I mean, it's well known in the intelligence community um, that they're arming the Taliban, Russia. Uh, I don't know, when you say arming, is supplying the Taliban weapons. paying or are they- giving? Russia is supplying weapons uh, and money to the Taliban. I have heard that, uh, but it's never, re again, it's never reached my desk. I mean, he said it on the record when he was in- Hey, Russia doesn't want anything to do with Afghanistan. Let me just say about Russia, Russia, used to be a thing called the Soviet Union. Because of Afghanistan, they went bankrupt. They became Russia, just so you do understand, okay? The last thing that Russia wants to do is get too much involved with Afghanistan. They tried that once, it didn't work out too Last much. question on this subject. And by the way, we're largely out of Afghanistan, as you probably know. Well, I wanted to ask you about that. Um, you, the US troop level in Afghanistan right now is roughly the same as it was when no, you... No, you're wrong, no. Uh, Mr. President, we, I'm sorry. We have to... <laughs> okay, are you ready? No, no, I will be down in a very ah. short period of time. Well, well, that's, the, that's a different question. Explain. We'll be down in a very short period of time to 8,000, then we're gonna be down to 4,000. We're negotiating right now. We've been there for 19 years, oh, no, no, 19 I years. But, but if you just let me finish my we'll question. We'll be getting out. I understand, look, the, when you came in, it was 8,800. You boosted to 14,000, and now you're back down to 8,500. We're, we're now... My uh, question we'll to you... We'll be 4,000. I'll give when? you the exact... Very soon, very soon. What will be the My number? God. Very soon? 4,000? Very soon, yeah. Like how soon? I don't want to tell you that. I don't want to tell it's you that. It's big news. What is that? that is it's going down to 4,000, isn't it? No, I've always said... Well, what about, we're what about get, election day? We will get largely out. On election day, how many American troops will be in Afghanistan? Uh, probably anywhere from four to 5,000. That's oh, almost shit, as many as when you came into office. No, it's not. 8,000. We had <laughs> much more. We had a lot of people over there, too. 8,800. A lot of people. Troops. And we did a good job. We wiped out ISIS. Have you thought about going down to Let zero? Let me just tell you what you don't say. <laughs> we took out in Syria, we took out ISIS. We 100% of the caliphate. When I took over Obama, it was totally rampant. ISIS right. was all over the place. We took them out, we captured them, we killed them. 100%, not 99%, right. I want to get out at 99, right. everyone said, oh, please, would you stay? I stayed. 99% was good, but 100% of the caliphate. We took out Soleimani. Yeah. We took out yeah. al-Baghdadi. Yeah. We took out people that nobody thought possible. Al-Baghdadi was the biggest terrorist of them all. They couldn't find him. I took him out. Soleimani, even bigger. I took him out. I've done things you, that no other was that you, though? done. None, I mean, fortunately, I not too many. I want to talk to the soldier that pulled the trigger, but okay. The, Middle East. the decision to go to the Middle East and get into the Middle East was the single biggest mistake made in the history of our country. That's my opinion. You told Fox News recently that you couldn't say whether you'd accept the results of the 2020 election. What does what that, does that mean? look like as the sitting president? I mean, it's unprecedented. What would well, that actually look Hillary like? Hillary Clinton never accepted well, she, them. She I conceded mean, she on them. Totally, she conceded she still on doesn't them. accept them, and she got, she got that's the important very point. easily. That, that's an important point. She conceded on election night. Now, she grumbled about it and, and said all sorts of things. Grumbled? She okay, wrote books fine. about it. She wrote books. Don't use the word grumbled. Fine. Okay. She wrote books about it. <laughs> and? And just, she got beaten easily. I get it. I get it. 306 to 223. I, I, I'm that's not disputing you beat Hillary Clinton. That's a lot. Listen, what I'm Jesus asking fuck, is, is you're, you'll be the sitting president in the White House. What does that look like? I'll, not accepting. I'll tell you what it looks like. Are you litigating? Oh, let me tell you what it looks okay. like. Okay. So we have a new phenomena. It's called in. It's called mail-in voting, where you send where new. a governor. It's well, been here since the new Civil War. In terms of the kind of do, uh, the kind of millions and millions of ballots, they've never. Done it'll be it'll be like bigger this. this year because of the pandemic. Bigger, not bigger, massively bigger. Yeah, because of the so pandemic. So they're going to send tens of millions of ballots to California, all over the place. Who, who's going to get them? I have a friend who lives in Westchester County. They send applications, not that. His son passed away. He had a beautiful, wonderful son, young man, passed away seven years ago. 
He called me. He said, "I just got a I just got a ballot Probably for an my son Robert. Probably he died seven years ago. Somebody got a ballot for a dog. Somebody got a ballot for what? something else. You got millions of ballots going. Nobody even knows where they're going. You look at some of the corruption having to do with universal mail-in voting. Absentee voting is okay. You have to apply. You have to go through a process. You have to apply Absentee for mail-in. Absentee voting it's the same is thing. good. Look. Look, okay, let's do concrete. Out, let's do concrete. Jonathan, they're sending out applications. Governors, Download them millions of ballots. No, they're not. There it's is, applications. You can there get is the no way you can go through a mail-in vote without massive cheating. I honestly don't understand this topic with, with go you. Go ahead. The Republican Party has an extremely well-funded vote-by-mail program. Your campaign puts out emails telling people to vote by mail. Correct. Your daughter-in-law, <laughs> she did robocalls in California saying it's safe and secure, mail-in voting. Let, I, let me tell you. The Republican we have won. no choice. That was an all-mail-in race. Let me tell you. Are you ready? Yeah. We have no choice. Because right now we have, but we're, we have many court cases that we're waiting. We have one filed in Western Pennsylvania. We have many court cases where we're trying to end it. We went through World War I, you went to the polls, you voted. We went through World War II, you You've went to the polls, you voted. You've had mail-in voting and since the Civil War. because of the China virus, we're supposed to stay home, send millions of ballots all over the country, millions and millions. You know, you could have a case where this election won't be decided on the evening of November 3rd. Absolutely. This election could what's be wrong decided with that? two months later. It won't be two months, but what's wrong with the proper it mailing count? It could be count? decided many months later. Have you discussed You know with... why? Because people, lots of things will happen during that period of time, especially well, when you have tight margins. Lots of things can happen. There's never been anything like this when you try. Now, of course, right now, we have to live with it. But we're challenging it in many courts you're going to litigate. Know, all over the country. Mr. President, the other day, a reporter asked you about Ghislaine Maxwell. You said, quote, I just wish her well, frankly. I've met her numerous times over the years, especially since I lived in Palm Beach. But I wish her well, whatever it is. Mr. President, Ghislaine Maxwell has been arrested on allegations of child sex trafficking. Why would you wish such a well, person well? First of all, well? I don't know that, but I do know that she has. She's been arrested for that. Her you know that. friend or boyfriend, Epstein, was either killed or committed suicide in jail. She's now in jail. Uh huh. Yeah, I wish her well. I'd wish you well. I'd wish a lot of people well. Good luck. Let them prove somebody was guilty. I mean, you do know that. Oh, she's so you're guilty. saying you hope she doesn't die in jail? Is that what you mean by wish her well? Her boyfriend died in jail, and people are still trying to figure out how did it happen? Was it suicide? Was he killed? And I do wish her well. I'm not looking for anything bad for her. I'm not looking bad for anybody. And they took that and I mean, they she's made a child, such, sex, alleged such child sex trafficking. a big though. deal. But all it is is right. her boyfriend died. He died in jail. Was he killed? Was it suicide? I do. I wish her well. Um, let's move to Portland. Um, I'm sure you've seen the disturbing footage of people in fatigues beating the no, Navy no, no, veteran. No, 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 no. No. Well, here you go. It's there. The fake news. It's not fake no, news. No. It's on video. For pepper spraying him. For nine days, these people were anarchists and agitators and some protesters, but these were anarchists. Okay. These people were beating the hell out of the city. They were beating up our federal buildings and our federal courthouse. We told the police to stop it. You make sure. And the police wouldn't do it. Not the police. Your own Justice Department and Homeland Security Inspector Generals. Excuse me. Your Inspector Generals Excuse are investigating me. unconstitutional. You're trying now to blame law enforcement instead of anarchists. I'm, I'm instead not. of Antifa. I'm not. It's Antifa and anarchists that are causing the problems, not law enforcement. Our law enforcement, if we didn't have people at our courthouse, and they're strong, tough people, and they don't want, they, they try and be very good, believe me. But if we didn't have people there, you would have your federal course, our $600 million building, you would have that thing burned to the ground. Right I'm there. asking you about tactics and about the unmarked vans where they're rounding people up. And I want okay, to. Let me, I want tell you, well, let me tell you Can about I just unmarked. finish my question? Well, let me tell you about unmarked. Unmarked. This dude, bro, I, I hate. I People this is from Rand Paul. Quote, we cannot give up li liberty for security. Local law enforcement can and should be handling these situations in our cities, but there is no place for federal troops or unidentified federal agents rounding people up at will. What is your response to Senator Paul? First of all, these are Homeland Security people. They're securing a courthouse. They're Border Patrol. They're, they're Homeland Security. Elite units. Border. Hopefully they have Camo, ice in there. Hopefully gas they bars. have ice. Now, do you know why they're unmarked? Because Why? these uh, terrorists, these Antifa people, 
these people that are anarchists and agitators, when they see the name on a uniform of a, of a person, a policeman or a law enforcement person, they find out where that person lives. And then they go and they scare the hell out of the person's family. And so they do it for that reason. It just comments. There's nothing secret about this. And you know it. You see it, what's going on right now. We have Chad Wolf. They have people. He's doing a fantastic job. This dude basically wants to make the police like how they are in fucking Watchmen, covering their faces and shit and no signs of identification. And I don't understand why they can't see if... People know police are grounding protesters up in unmarked vans. What's stopping sex traffickers from going to protests in unmarked vans and just snatching people up and then beating the fuck out of anyone that tries to stop them? And everyone would just be like, was that police? I don't know. That's what's going to happen. He's the acting head. He's doing a fantastic job. That's why it's a problem. Chad Wolf has pickets out, very dangerous looking people outside of his house. He's going to be just fine. He's tough and he's got people. But if you have the names on all of these uniforms, you'll have these maniacs in front of their houses uh, scaring their family and their wives and or husbands, whatever it may be. I think it's a very good reason not to have your name. Why should you have identification? Look, My name is Bill Smith and Here's where I live, the, and I'm a member of... The really serious concern is... No, no, the that's reports, a, no, no, not about that. That's a serious the concern. The serious concern is, is, is the reports of people being rounded up and not being told why they're being detained. That's what's being investigated why? by... Mr. President, the, the inspectors generals... Detained? The inspectors generals... You know why? You know why they're being detained? Well, yeah. There's I mean, an investigation. Are you, do you support that investigation? Well, I haven't seen the result yet. But Let do you support the, the, the initiative of it? No, I think that actually... You don't. The, I think Antifa should be investigated, not the law enforcement. They're investigating. Should, they shouldn't be investigating. Have you been watching television? I have. Have you been seeing the, the violence? And sure. The, now, if you watch NBC News, like I watch NBC fake news, I'm watching it, Lester Holt, real beauty, and I'm watching this NBC News sham, and you have a mayor named Wheeler, and he's standing out there, and he's being accosted by the people. You know that. Being, I mean, it's horrible what they're doing to him. Portland, the mayor of Portland. And he thought he'd go out, he'd be a what they were doing and saying and everything else to him, I happened to watch it on a different station. He had to get out. He had five security no, guards. He got out with his life. Okay. Mr. President. If you watch, wait, if yeah. you watch NBC News, they make him like he's standing there bravely fighting with the people in a positive sense that everything is wonderful. No. He went out there. He's lucky he got away with his life because they would have killed him. He had five guards, but NBC News showed it like he's standing with the people for justice. Look, those people, take a look at the, what they've done to the courthouse. Take a look at what they've done to the streets. Take a look at the violence. It's this getting is, worse since they've gone in. It's, no, it's getting actually, worse. it's getting better. We had a very good, we've arrested a lot of people, and we now have a 10-year rule. You knock down, you try and knock more down More businesses damaged, more you violence. You touch our courthouse, you go to jail for 10 years. Turning to the rest of the country, we haven't seen protests like this since the 60s. I mean, we're seeing... These are democratic Well, just if, you, if I could finish my question. Cities, if I could finish my question. And they're doing it for political reasons. You, you, you said you've done so much for African-Americans. I have. But, but <laughs> there are Americans... Criminal justice yeah, I understand, reform, opportunity... But, but let me finish. There are Americans out in the streets asking for change. Mr. President, have you ever met with a Black Lives Matter activist to hear them out, hear their arguments? Well, Black Lives Matter started off, to me, very badly because it was... Did you ever meet with one? in a bed... Pigs in a blanket, no, burn them like enough. bacon. That was my first, the first time I ever okay. heard of black. That was three or four years ago. Uh -huh. Pigs, meaning policemen, pigs is what they're referring to, in a blanket, fry them like bacon. I thought it was, a, so I, I got off to a bad start. I got off to a very bad would start. You meet with a, so would you meet with a Black Lives Matter activist? I would, but I think right now when they paint, Why haven't you? When they paint the sign, nobody's asked for a meeting. I, I've never been, nobody's ever asked me for a meeting. Let me tell you, with African Americans, I'm doing very well. They had the best employment numbers they've ever had. They had the best job numbers they've ever had. They were making more money than they ever made. We were all set until we got hit by China with the virus. Jonathan, there was actually, we were becoming a very do unified believe, country. Do you believe Because though, of success. I understand. Do, do you believe, though, Mr. President, that many police treat black people differently from white people? Well, I hope not. I hope not. There's certainly the, the... Uh, You've seen the statistics. The knee on the neck was a disgrace, okay? Yeah. It was a disgrace. I'm talking about what does systemic racism mean to you? Uh, I hope 
The answer to that question is no. Do I, does anybody really answer that question accurately? But what does about not really hope? Know? What about analysis? What's your cold hearted? Uh, I have view seen of it? where there is a difference, and I don't want there to be a difference. I don't like that there would be a difference. But with that being said, why do you think black men are two and a half times? White people I know, but why do you think black in men in a larger number in, in quantity, police have killed but, white people? But why do you think black men are two and a half times more likely to be killed by police than white? Uh, men? That I don't know, but uh, why? I don't, why do you I think don't like it. But you must have thought why? about it. Why? I don't do you think? know why, but I don't like it. I do know this. Does it speak to something police systemic? Police have killed many white people also. But proportionally, what what, what does it speak to? Uh, it speaks to something, if that's the number, you're telling it is the me a number. number. Okay, if that's the number, it <laughs> speaks to something that to me is unacceptable. And what do you do about it then? Well, I think we've already done a lot but of it. But you haven't, it still exists. No, no, no. I, I understand your achievements. I know what you're going to say. I'm not suggesting you haven't done a lot I've done economically. I've criminal justice I get it. reform. I'm just saying what changes. Friend, President Obama, <laughs> Dude, he, not my friend. I'm <laughs> Dude, he knows exactly where he's just going to go. He's going to list a bunch of shit that he thinks he already did. And like, Asking about that he statistic. He tried, but he couldn't get it I'm done. Not, I got criminal I justice get it. I, I got <laughs> opportunity zones. I took care of the historically black. You know, if you look at, if you look at what I've done for colleges, for black colleges and universities. I got them funding. Obama never did it. I did more for the black community than anybody with the possible exception of Abraham Lincoln, whether you like it or not. <laughs> so really, you, you believe you did more than Lyndon Johnson, who passed the Civil I Rights Act? I think I did, Act. yeah. How? Because I How got possibly criminal justice did you do? reform done. I got prison reform. Lyndon Johnson. I've done things. <laughs> done, well, he passed the yes, Civil Rights yes. Act. How has it worked out? <laughs> if you take a look at what Lyndon Johnson did. You think the Civil Rights How Act was a mistake? How has it worked out? Because frankly, it, it took a long time. But for African Americans, but you under think that my was a administration, Jonathan, <laughs> under my administration, African Americans were doing better than they had ever done in the history of this country. So I did a lot. Job numbers, all of the money. They had money. They were getting great. Their, their percentage was, was up. Their housing ownership was up. They did better than they've ever done I just until don't know we how got you hit. Can... And now, you know what we're doing? I'm building it up again. We're going to have it. Next year will be a great year, unless it's screwed up by somebody that doesn't know what he's doing, which could happen, but I don't think it will. John Lewis is lying in state in the U.S. Capitol. How do you think history will remember John Lewis? I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know John Lewis. Uh, he chose not to come to my uh, uh, inauguration. Uh, he chose, uh, I, I don't, uh, I never met John Lewis, actually, I don't believe. Do you find him impressive? Uh, I can't say one way or the other. I find a lot of people impressive. I find many people not impressive, but no, but I didn't Do go. Do you find his story he impressive? Come, he didn't come to my inauguration. He didn't come to my State of the Union speeches. And that's okay, that's his right. And again, nobody has done more right. but, for but back black to, Americans than I have. I understand. He should have come. <laughs> but back, I think he made a big mistake. But, but, ta but taking come. your relationship with him out of it, do you find his story impressive, what he's done for this country? He was a person that devoted a lot of energy and a lot of heart to civil rights, but there were many others also. There's a petition to rename the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma, Alabama as the John Lewis Bridge. Would you support that idea? I would, I would have no objection to it if yeah. they'd like to do it. Yeah, it's a good idea. Would have no objection to it whatsoever. Okay. Mr. President, you've been so generous with your time and we really appreciate it. Well, thank you thank very you. much. Great honor. Thank, thank you so you. much. Yo, all right, that was a treat. That was, th there were some laughs in there. Uh, it's just fucking bizarre, bro. Like, he talks like a little kid. And, he just repeats the same shit, and whenever he's, he, whenever someone brings up something bad, he just talks about all the things he's already done, and he's like, "But look at all this stuff I already did." And bro, he and he said he's done more stuff for black people than fuck since Lincoln. Since Lincoln, that's fucking hilarious. That's <sighs> say what you will about Trump, a he is funny as shit. I'm laughing at him, not with him. Adam. Uh, that's really about all there is to talk about at this moment. There's a lot more stuff going on. Um, I, I didn't really talk about the Black Lives Matter protests since my last podcast. I haven't talked about Black Lives Matter because the only reason I made the last video was because there was so much misinformation and like people blaming the protesters and all that. And I wanted to show the police were actually the ones 
starting and instigating a lot of these violent incidents and all that stuff. Afterwards, I think a lot of people did know that and the word got out. Yeah, and I, I didn't feel like I n needed to say anything more about the Black Lives Matter movement that they haven't already been saying themselves. So I'm going to just leave it out with blue lives aren't lives. You can stop being a cop. If you don't like it, get a new job. If you want to kill people, go to fucking Afghanistan or Iraq, you little pussy ass bitch. And yeah. Goodbye.